Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we'll be doing this whole face gun right over here. It is again another festive look for you guys. I am super excited because I am using one of the newest collection. Today's look, I will be using one of the new palette from NARS Cosmetics that I just recently purchased to add into my collection. This is the Extreme Effect palette, you guys. I've been wanting to buy a NARS Cosmetics eyeshadow palette. I have any I have so many of their palettes, but all of them are either highlight, bronze, blush, like face palettes, but not eyes. So this is something that I'm really excited for. So without further ado, let's get right on to the video. So today I did my brows using this browsing palette by Benefit Cosmetics. I absolutely love it. Uh, but I actually carved my brows today for a change of cosmetics camo concealer. Please do not do what I did today. So that's why I'm telling you guys, you got to be very quick to blend out the concealer because I took my forever time like I always do. And it actually kind of set in place. It was very, very hard to blend out and I still feel like I have harsh edges. So I'm just going to hope that uh, my foundation will cover that. If not, then we shall see. For the primer, I'm going to go ahead and go for my Marc Jacobs Coconut Primer and I'm going to go ahead and take that. I'm gonna take today Catrice Light Correcting Serum Primer, you guys. All right, now that we've got a glowy skin, I am ready to move on to the foundation, you guys. And for that, I am taking my Anastasia Beverly Hills Foundation. Shade I have here is 330W. Right, for the concealer, I'll be taking my Clinique Beyond Perfecting Foundation Concealer, you guys. The shade I have here is the Sesame, and I'm going to go ahead and take that in generous amount, only because this is more so on the foundation side as well, and I haven't used it in a while, so I'm just going to go ahead and give this a go. I really like this. Do you guys see the coverage? I'm gonna go ahead and set it all in place and for that I'm gonna go ahead and take my Japanese this is the champagne collection velvet touch shade in 01 I'm gonna go ahead and take this onto a tapered brush this one's my crown brushes and very lightly I'm gonna start the outer side of my eyes and then slowly go close to it so the most gets packed away from my eyes so it doesn't crease oh so pretty So the powder I'm using for the face is actually the Too Faced, the lid broke, but I really love this powder so I'm just going to go ahead and take this and set it all in place real quick. For the bronzer I'll be taking Charlotte Tilbury, this is their airbrush bronzer, the shade I have here is 2 medium and this is what that looks like you guys, absolutely gorgeous. It is also another velvet finish uh, product that I just recently purchased. This is my second time applying it but I've already become such a huge fan and I was actually pretty surprised by the size of this product because I seriously was thinking it's going to be one of those you know smaller compact like a powder foundation or something you know but this is definitely bigger and stunning palette so I think you're definitely paying for the uh, packaging here as well. For nose contour, I'm going to go ahead and go for my Benefit Cosmetics Hula Bronzer because it's the most natural bronzer for my skin tone and I really like it without giving it harsh edges. It really contoured my nose beautifully. For the contour, I'll be taking Lorac Pro Contour Palette and uh, from this, I always like to mix the three shades together. For the blush, I'll be taking the Amazing Cosmetics blush in Mucho Mango and I'm just going to go ahead and take that onto my blush brush. For the eyes, I'll be taking the NARS Cosmetics Extreme Effects palette and I'm going to go ahead and start working with it but first we're going to go ahead and prime our eyes and for that I'm going to go ahead and take my ELF Cosmetics concealer. Once I'm done blending, I'm going to go and go in with this lighter shade right over here to set my crease. It has a hint of pink shade, so do know that you're kind of transitioning at the same time. I will not be taking this towards the brow bone because I do want to leave that space open for the highlight. To highlight my brow bone, I will be using this very first shade. In this palette, it is a very light metallic shimmery shade that is perfect for your highlight reasons. The very first shade I'll be digging into this right here and I'm going to go and take that onto a blending brush. This one's by Crown Brushes. I'm just going to go and pop that into my corner and start blending it towards the inside.
because I would like to create a little bit more depth, I'm going to go ahead and take the Kat Von D Shade and Light Eye Palette only because this one has all metallics and this was the actually most richest dark transitioning shade. So I'm just going to go ahead and take this one and I'm actually looking for something matte and rich in color. So I'm going to go ahead and take this brown right over here. I'm just going to go ahead and start blending this towards the outer corner of my crease. Just gonna blend out the outer edges using the first brush we applied the transition shade with. The main color I'll be working with today is this bright orange color. Absolutely gorgeous, you guys. It has that hint of sheen to it. So basically, this is what that looks like, you guys, upon swatch. So it's you're not exactly like an orange. It becomes a very coral, beautiful, you know, shimmery satin finish kind of a shade, and that's what I really like about this one. So I'm kind of happy that we didn't go with the cream shade because this shadow is super pigmented. It's going great on its own. I haven't even dampened my brush using a MAC Fix Plus. Oh wow, with the MAC Fix Plus, it is even more richer in color. I will now be taking this shade right over here that is right next to it. It is very beautiful brown kind of a color and it is also very satin and metallic finish. I'm going to go ahead and apply that towards the outer corner and slowly start blending that towards this color. For the lower lash line, I'm going to go and take this purple kind of a color and I'm going to apply that with a shading brush. With the help of a pencil brush like this one, I'm going to go ahead and take this metallic gold kind of a color and I'm going to go ahead and pop that right towards the inner corner. Because this look is a holiday look, it is not going to be complete without some glitter. So I'm going to go ahead and take this sub glitter and I will actually have the name of the brand right over here. I'll be using my Lit Cosmetics glitter glue to pop that on. As you guys can see how pretty this is absolutely breathtaking just created this wing using the wet n wild liquid liner I'm gonna go ahead and do mascara and lashes off screen and I'll be right back you guys now that I have my lashes on I'm gonna go ahead and go back with this palette I will be taking this darker shade again and I'm gonna go and take that onto a flat definer shading brush I'm gonna run that very close to my lower lash line just to kind of give them more definition and structure only thing I would say that this palette is just a little bit too hard to open like you really got to put your nails in there oh okay I'm gonna go back with the same purple shade from this palette and I'm gonna take that onto a pencil brush to blend out the black All right, before setting my face, I'm going to go ahead and clean up all these glitter as much as possible. To set my face today, today I'll be trying out Tatcha Luminous Dewy Mist. And this is, by the way, a glass and a very wonderful packaging. Very absolutely beautiful. For the highlight, I'll be taking Bobbi Brown Bronze Glow Highlighter. And I'm going to take that onto a crown brush, stippling brush. And just going to go ahead and highlight away. For the lips, I'll be taking NYX Cosmetics Brown Lip Liner. Today, the lipstick I'll be taking is by Clinique Bear Pop. And this is what the shade looks like. I feel like this lipstick didn't have very much color of its own, but it does have that very nice lip balm kind of a texture. It does have a little bit of a glossy effect, so I think it will be perfect lipstick for daily use. But I'm going to go and swatch it real quick to kind of show you what I'm talking about. I think with this brown lip liner, it only enhanced it. Alright you guys, so this right here is the today's finished look. I hope you guys have been watching it. Definitely give this video a thumbs up to let me know. If you have not subscribed or new to my channel, then definitely hit the subscribe button. So that way you can stay tuned as to what else is coming up next onto my channel. I am super excited the way this look turned out, by the way. I really love the palette. So other than that, I love you guys and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.